Hey, gentlemen. Uh, since I was doing that uh, 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 column uh, modeling test, I decided to put this in uh, Marmoset in, in order for us to see what's going on. And if we go back to Houdini, um, there are some cool features that I added to their columns and um, I'd like to show you. So basically, I created a bunch of folders right here. So let's just say you have a client and uh, he wants a prop, and but at the same time, uh, he wants to know how, how uh, long it will take uh, uh, to create like, I, you know, seven types differences of uh, props or columns or anything like that, and then uh, or your art director. Uh, good news, uh, you're able to actually go there and play around with different things that are not necessarily uh, going to give you a long time to do uh, whatever's here. So uh, I ended up uh, creating a bunch of different parameters. Uh, one of the cool uh, parameters that I created was uh, the vertical copies of the column. So basically, uh, how many copies I have of this piece uh, going up and down. And I maximized it as a, a seven, I believe. So you're able to have that uh, as you want to. Uh, another thing that I created was uh, if I want to keep breaking down the pieces down uh, through those columns and uh, as I, I talked about uh, the idea of like diminishing the pieces on the column itself uh, in order for us to let's just say we want really really worn stuff and you're able to add more details on inside of it if you wanted to uh, I just didn't add it because I didn't need it yet uh, and let's just say if I want to go really low on the column side and not break down as much, just have like two columns and delete more of the small pieces if I wanted to. Uh, 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 I did not create anything related to uh, inter interior detail. I, I'm, I am able to. Um, so basically in the Vorodoin, it itself you're able to create some noise inside of it but what I did do was whenever you're in the breaking phase if you're breaking more and more um, there is some sort of break uh, detail on the top as you can see uh, I need to still improve that feature but you're able to break that that kind of stuff if you wanted to uh, I created a little wave section on this and as you can see the, the little side of the bevels right there if I want to offset this guy of course it's gonna have to recalculate out all, all the 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 the, 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 the Voronoi and sometimes you, I have to give like specific limits to things because if I uh, manage to uh, exaggerate too much on that beveling he's gonna cross over that border and he's not gonna be able to do the for noise. So like, uh, I have to get the parameter of the face itself and how far that goes. And um, one of the, another thing that I did was uh, how deep uh, I can go with this or if I wanna go out uh, with those bevels, uh, it gives you uh, this sort of uh, really cool look to the column if you wanted to. Uh, let me see what else did I do here so I can show you. Uh, so I did a little side bevel thing as well. If you wanted to go even lower on the, the side bevel, uh, you're able to uh, add the amount of divisions. Uh, depending on the amount of divisions that you do, it may break things on the number account of, uh, of uh, the, the, the groups. So you have to play around with the divisions inside of that and you need to find out what's going on there. But uh, you shouldn't uh, have been an issue but unfortunately I I probably broke something now in there so those are the columns uh, uh, features uh, which are really cool uh, I, I ended up like creating a checkbox where you're able to say hey I don't want any torrents uh, like no torrents for me and I'm able to create sparseness for the thorns if I wanted to or less if I wanted to 
uh, vary their angle. Uh, if you want it like more angular, uh, make them a little smoother or not. Uh, the spikes height, if you wanted like more more spikes, I could ch create like a checkbox where I I would go like oh instead of uh, spikes I want leaves or instead of uh, leaves I want flowers or anything like that, uh, which would be really cool uh, to do that. Of course, I didn't diminish the growth. Um, you're able to make the, the, the growth happen and exist right there if you wanted to. And the more of the sparseness that you have, the more they're going to go and, st and try to uh, follow that path and um, make sure that uh, go up the top the, of, the, of the hill right there on the, the, that stuff. So uh, it, I ended up dividing the number of spikes through the, the roof. So you, you're not going to have like tons of spikes going on while you're going on that way uh what else uh we uh, those are the things that i basically was able to play around with so there's one more thing so let me just stick off the thorns for a quick thing here so the base uh we have the side bevels and again i, I was able to change the side bevels right there the only issue what is that what i'm, I'm doing here is it will be nice if you set up a height for your uh, base before you actually do the column because I'm doing a bounding box for this guy and every time I change something here it's gonna change the more noise from that guy right there so just a just a heads up um, I separate two things from one another instead of relying on the bounding box of one of those guys uh, I do not know how to fix uh, a specific amount of Voronoi or like uh, just freeze down whatever you have, but I'm sure there's a way that you can play around with it. Uh, the offset itself, if you play around with it, so like let's just say that I have the side bevel, and if I offset that bevel, I offset it too much, uh, you can see that I'm able to actually get all the other corners or all, uh, all the other features surrounding the part of uh, the bevel to actually follow through whatever I did on the base, uh, which is uh, pretty damn fantastic. Again, I need to create a maximum uh, amount of that offset so it doesn't actually make people uh, get uh, the problem. I also make sure that I did a pristine or a cracked version so you're able to just go back and pristine and cracked version of that uh, maybe i need to do that for the column as well uh, let me just leave down the the pristine version so you are able to see the the bottom extrude so the bottom extrude basically what happens is uh, you're able to scale up and down that bottom extrude right there and all the other geometry that is outside it's gonna follow it um, because I have a boundary there and I'm doing uh, I'm following that curve in order to create that guy right there so if I make sure that I come back to the the, the pristine and cracked you're gonna be able to see the same effect I ended up forgetting to do the Voronoi or cracked version on that little lip uh, but it's easy for us to go back and do it uh, I also was able to create a scale Y and the scale Y itself, uh, it's hard to see here, but I'm going to try to see if I'm able to manage to show you. Uh, this guy goes up and, and, and to the bottom if you wanted to just have a little uh, lip going down there. Uh, another thing that I did was, let me go to the pristine version. This is pretty much this bevel function right here so this ramp right here controls uh, whatever is going on through that process let me go because uh, it's really slow right now because one, one of the things that is happening is it is trying to do the column um, because I have connection in between two things here and I do not want to have that the column is getting the bounding box so I'm just gonna take off the column for now and then just play around with those values and you can see that it's much faster right now uh, so even if I add a point 
Um, I'm going to put in the wireframe right here so you guys can see. Uh, even if I add a point right there on the, the graph, uh, you're able to get a little bit more of that uh, 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 feature and keep adding more detail if you wanted to, or if I want to take off detail of that, I just, you know, just take off detail of that and you're, you're good to go. Because I made sure that this is, you're controlling the points and not necessarily uh, the, the, the profile only. So you're able to get that sort of feature going through it. And then again, it follows through whatever the pristine cracked had it existed. Uh, the cuts itself, uh, what I did was I ended up creating a little seed for the base. So you're able to create the seed for the base. I'm able to smooth the pieces if I wanted to. So it's like, uh, how much do I want to worn down or smooth the pieces? I'm also able to create a broken version that gets just the corners uh, of the that mesh and um, and worn down just the little corners right there. I didn't do that yet, but I will be doing that in the future. Uh, what is this random pieces that I don't know what happens? Oh, okay, so basically this is an offset that you're able to just go up and down and it just offset the pieces a little bit and randomizes it for you automatically. And this lip is the same idea. Uh, you're able to see the lip right there. And if I want to smooth or not the pieces uh, of this, those stones around that lip right there. So all those guys, you're able to play around uh, through th that graph uh, without, without an issue. And uh, it's actually pretty fast. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't get you to uh, uh, lose a lot of time. Uh, I'm able to bring the thorns up again if I wanted to. Uh, and all that is one asset. So this is the reason why I'm, I was telling you, I created four assets by just one. And in the object value, I was able to just get them to be parented to each other. So if I go and say here, hey, I, I want you to keep moving forward, the other ones are parented and, and it keeps going. Or I can actually get this copy parameter right here, uh, based uh, the relative values right here um, and then say hey please give me minus 15 and the other ones will just be the same idea uh, on the other ones so uh, I'm just trying to show you uh, how um, nice it is to model with Houdini and I hope you enjoy seeing my videos please send me feedback and if you have ideas of what you want to see um, uh, I'm able to just go back and play around with those uh, things and show you uh, and perhaps uh, uh, even like create a, a paid tutorial for those ideas. Uh, there is a, a video tutorial coming soon for that uh, grass stuff material that I was creating. Please look forward for that. I, I, I am still editing the video, uh, will be done soon. I hate editing videos, it's not my thing. I think that every artist uh, probably hates it, but uh, it's necessary in order to uh, uh, do things. And you're probably wondering, hey Hugo, okay, you have this mesh. How are you gonna do UVs for that? There is solutions. So uh, maybe that's one of my next steps uh, of doing this in order to play around with it. Uh, and I, I'm gonna keep going with this. Uh, I want to do like sort of a, like a, a nice hall, and in the middle of the hall, uh, there's like stairs and a little sort of like a, a symbol or maybe a well uh, in the middle, uh, and put some nice lighting in it, and and then create some really cool uh, environment uh, just by using procedural pieces. Thank you so much for watching it and I, I see you soon.